Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's weekly guidance message for this upcoming week. In this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is all headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Virgo, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So... Virgo, let's dive in and see what we can see. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to see? Wow, Virgo, this is an energy of release. So Virgo, I definitely feel like you're holding on to something that had happened between you and another person. I feel like you have held on to this challenge, this ending, this betrayal for so long. It's really... It's like you've gotten a new found view. You've changed your perspective on this connection. The perspective has been changed. There's no going back. Okay. Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment, Virgo. I definitely feel that there's an energy of loss. There's an energy of betrayal. The challenge here this week for you, Virgo, is the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords with the Four of Cups. So I do feel here that you are kind of still at a standstill, but it's almost as if you're ruminating over this betrayal, okay? What's done is done. Your perspective has already shifted when it comes to this person, in regards to this person. There's no going back on that relationship. Like this, the interaction between you and this person will never be the same again. However, I feel like there is a need to be mindful here, Virgo, okay? There is a need to be mindful, and we're going to clarify why in a moment. Let's first start here with the Emperor, the Hanged One, with the Pentacle, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. For Virgo Spirit, please and thank you. What is the most important message that Virgo needs to see in regards to the Emperor, the Hanged Man in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse? Virgo, I feel like whatever had transpired came out out of the blue. Now, this is like um, a revelation. So somebody most likely came forward and told you something. Maybe you've seen a post on social media this person had posted with another person or had posted that they're in a relationship, something along those lines. This has really put that, it's really changed the dynamic here between you and this person. I honestly feel here, Virgo, you're trying to figure out a way to move forward from this betrayal. And I honestly will tell you, you can't move forward from this. How this is playing out, how this ending is coming out, there is no moving forward from this, Virgo. You're going to have to let this go, let this tower fall. Clarify the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords with the Four of Cups energy. I definitely feel like you're trying to control the situation here, Virgo. There's a, a little bit of control that you're trying to exude over maybe the outcome. You kind of, again, just have to let it go. Let the tower fall. I know it's not going to feel nice. It's not going to be easy. 
I do definitely feel like there is an energy of holding on to this past situation. Looking back at this past situation is why did I stay in this connection this long? Why did I entertain the drama? Why did I fight for this person? Now, Virgo, I do feel like you kind of, you are releasing this in a way, but there's still some ill feelings. So it's almost as if you're like, fine, move forward, but I never want to talk to you again, and I never want to see you again. And if you were to see this person out in public, you would probably be triggered. You would most likely leave that situation, the mall or the movie theater, wherever you might see this person, it's going to cause a lot of complications. I will be honest with you in that, Virgo. It's going to cause a lot of complications. You kind of have to, and we're going to pull a few cards out here for your advice moving forward, Virgo, clarifying the devil in the reverse, the judgment in the reverse, and the six of wands in the reverse. Is the justice in the world with the 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 justice in the reverse with the world. So things are really coming to an end and a need to kind of accept where they are in the present energy and just let this go. By holding on, by fighting this ending, it's going to cause more harm than good. It's like you're holding on to something that is no longer serving you and eventually this is going to cause you so much pain that you're not going to have a choice but to let go. This person very well could choose another person at some point. That's how that tower energy could play out. If you ignore the warning signs. And I feel here, Virgo, for a lot of you, that's kind of what's going on here right now. You're ignoring the warning signs, trying to figure out how to make this work. There is no going back from this betrayal. Now, Virgo, this energy could be resonating for you. It could The roles could also be reversed. Maybe you have done something where this person feels like there's no going back. However, I do feel an energy of no going back. It's like this is the end. This is the conclusion to the chapter. Even if you guys come back together as one, it's going to be a different relationship. So uh, accepting this ending is going to be the key here this week moving forward. I guarantee it. So Virgo, let's pull a few cards out for your advice just to see. If you find the message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thanks for that. You guys are all freaking amazing. Virgo, three of cups, six of pentacles, king of cups in the reverse, the seven of cups. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. I feel like this person has options. Okay, and that's exactly why you're being called to just look at the situation very honestly, very practically in this energy. Be very honest with yourself here, Virgo, because I feel that there is an imbalance between you and this person. There is a lot of confusion and this person is definitely keeping their options open. They're most likely withholding their emotions, not really expressing how they truly feel keeping things on a sexual level. So coming to terms with this is how things are going to be. Your person is going to keep their options open. So if this is something that you can accept and move forward with, then by all means do so. But for those of you that want something more stable in your life, you're going to have to set that boundary with this person and accept walking away may be what the outcome has to be. But it's really the balls in your court, Virgo. You have to decide, do you want this person or do you want a stable relationship? Let's pull a soul truth message to sum up your guys' reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Do I know my own strengths and am I using them? 
We all have superpowers, but it's up to us to uncover them. When we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our own zone of genius. This inspires others to do the same. Today's soul action, ask yourself, how can I use one of my soul's gifts today to contribute to the open and ready world? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.